In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to fix invalid anti-set data on Alt Store. So, this is an issue that I encountered when I was installing Alt Store on my iPhone. There are actually many fixes to this. So, obviously, the first fix to this issue is to close iTunes or if you have iCloud open, make sure that you guys do close that as well. But I'm assuming most people have already done that and it hasn't worked. So, we can move on to the next thing. So for the next thing, what you need to do is get the latest versions of both iTunes and iCloud. So for iTunes, you can update it in the app. So if I just open up iTunes here. And normally you guys do get a pop up, but if you don't have a pop up, then you can just click on help over here. And then you can just click check for updates. And then you'll see the actual update here so you can just click download iTunes and then download that. For iCloud specifically, you will need to download it. So you can either download it when you install Alt Store, which if you guys want to watch that video, I'll leave it in the top right. And so basically that video shows you the complete guide and it also shows you one of the ways to actually avoid this issue. So I highly recommend everybody watches that you will learn the proper way to download Alt Store. But if you guys clicked off of that, all you need to do is to just go into your browser here and I'll leave a link for this website down below. And it's basically just a Reddit thread here. And then they've just left the actual download here. It's safe and everything. So what I want you guys to do after is just open up the actual exe. And then obviously you'll see the actual installation prompt, but because I actually have iCloud in already, I'm not going to be able to get to the actual installation. What I can do is repair, which is another thing that you guys can do. So if you already have iCloud on your computer, I would recommend clicking repair. Once you open up EXC here, click next. And then you can just click finish. And then obviously you're going to have to restart and everything. It's like you reinstalled it as it's new. So just click no here. Obviously it doesn't really matter. And then you'll see iCloud in the corner here again. And so you can try it without restarting, but you can also restart and then reopen up old server to see if that helps. But after all of these steps, I always recommend that you just click on alt server here and then click close and then just click search here and then search up alt server again and then click enter and then you'll see it here again so it just restarts the process what many people do after installing iCloud is why this issue occurs if I had just downloaded iCloud and then obviously gone through the setup installer then I'd get this issue the main thing people forget to do is actually sign into iCloud which is super important so obviously just click this arrow here and then click iCloud here and then just click sign in. And obviously I'll be back when I do sign in. And so now I'm signed in. So just close it out and then obviously just go back into alt server and then connect your device and do it. And if that doesn't work, first close alt server and then reopen it again by using the search icon here and then just searching up alt server. If that doesn't work, another thing you guys can do is first open up file explorer and just go to your main drive here. And you want to go to program data right over here. But as you can see, it is a little dark here. So what that means is that it's a hidden item. So what you guys need to do if you guys don't see program data is just click on view here and then make sure hidden items is checkmarked. So by default, most people will only see this. So they'll have to click view and then they'll have to click hidden items here so they can see program data. So click on it and then click on Apple computer here. Click on iTunes and then click on ADI. And then you'll see these two files here. So what we're going to do is just select both of these, right click and then delete right over here. And so now what we can do is just go back to alt server, click on alt server, click close, click search, type in alt server again, click open here, and then just click on this and just click install alt store. I don't have my device connected at the moment, 
but you're just gonna have to follow the steps to do it. If that doesn't work, you should also try to reinstall iTunes as well. So to properly reinstall, just hold Windows key plus R, type in appwiz.cpl, which I have typed in over here, click OK. And then you're going to scroll down until you find iTunes. And now there's two things you guys can do. You can either repair. So if I click repair here or you can uninstall. So I'll click repair first. And then you're going to user account control prompt. So click yes. And one thing I did want to say is make sure that iTunes is closed while you're doing this. And then you can just go back into old server. And I can't stress enough how much you guys need to first keep closing old store and then reopening them again. Because if you don't do this, it might not work. But if that doesn't work as well, then, then you'll just need to click uninstall this program here. And then just click yes. And so it does take quite some time, but just keep waiting. And so once you've uninstalled, just go to this website here, support.apple.com. I'll leave this in the description below and then just click on what you have. So I'm 64 bit. I'm just going to click download here and then just open up the installer and then you'll see this bar here and then preparing to install and it should just be done here and then click next, click install. And then you'll get another user account control prompt. Click yes. And so obviously since I'm recording, I won't be able to reinstall, but most of you guys won't be recording. So it should be fine. And then just remember to close alt server, open it up again, and then try and see if it works. The last thing I would say you guys should do if you're facing this issue is to do a general reset on your computer as that usually does a trick with error codes concerning alt store, especially this error code. If your alt store is set to launch automatically at startup, it should be on and ready to go as you restart. So to turn on that setting, all you do is just click on this little arrow over here, click on alt server, and then you'll see automatically launch at startup. I already have it check marked, but some of you guys might not. So if you don't just go back here, and then just click on it and you guys should be good. Anyways, I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. If you guys wanna see other old store alternatives like Sideloadly as well, I can make a video on that. So just leave it in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.